Rules for house sitting. Thank you for agreeing to house sit for me. I cannot tell you how hard it is to find someone that will agree to do this. It was probably because we were from out of town and my house has a bit of a reputation. It's fine though. If you read these rules and follow them as best as you are able. Rule number 1. Please do not have any friends over. The house doesn't like unfamiliar people. It took a lot of convincing on my part for the house to let you stay. Rule number 2. The house will talk to you, not necessarily with a voice, but it will talk to you. It is very hard for me to explain, but you will know when it happens. Rule number 2A. Be respectful. Don't insult the house when speaking to it. It won't take very kindly to that. Rule number 3. There is normally one kitchen, one living room, three bathrooms, one bedroom, and a root cellar. This can and will be required a lot depending upon what mood the house is in. Rule number 4. There is no one else inside of the house. Ignore anyone else in the house. Do not pay attention to strange noises. If you see or hear anyone, stay in the room you are in and lock the doors and windows. As long as you have been respectful towards the house, it will keep you safe. Rule number 5. As you have no doubt inferred by now, the house is a living thing, kind of. It is and it isn't. That's not important. What you need to know is that you must make sure that you look after the emotional state of the house. Rule number 6. Do not talk to anyone about the house. Rule number 7. If you hear knocking on any interior door, hide. You should be safe in the house. The house will protect you, but it is still better to be safe than sorry. Thank you again for doing this for me. When I get back, I will pay you $10,000. If you have followed the rules, the house will tell me. I really do appreciate you doing this for me and the house. Maybe you will actually follow the rules and live. Unlike the last few people 